Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys five tips on how to be successful your first year, like I guess the first few semesters of x-ray school. So before I give you guys the five tips, I just wanted to talk about my interview process and like my school. My school is a non-profit school and it's not going to, I mean, all schools are different. So what they did at my school, they're probably not going to do at your school and vice versa. So how my interview process went is um, you meet with the campus director, they show you around the school, they um, also talk to you about the financial outlook of the job, they show you, um, like they talk to you about financial aid and all that kind of stuff. You have to take a test, there's a math test and I think there was an English test. So once you pass those tests, then you get to talk to the program director and that's where your interview happens. And that was at my school, just so you guys know. Then you talk to the program director and it's just like a job interview. Um, you have to put your best foot forward. And then if you do get accepted, you have orientation. And we had an orientation for, I think, a whole week or two days, something like that. And that's where they gave us all of our books. They gave us three pairs of scrubs to reuse and, you know, purchase more if we needed to. And yeah, and that's exactly how it happened. That's how it first started off in the beginning. Tip number one is to make these things called study statements. Um, our program director she told us to make study statements and she explained it like this so whenever you um, take a test and you get the question wrong write it down write down the question and write down the answer and also write down why it's correct and what like write down little tips to help you remember um, to understand it I definitely recommend getting a binder and filling them full of study statements from the beginning of the semester to the end of the program then when it's time for you to like get prepared for your exam you can just look through all the pages and see if you really truly understand those things that you wrote down because you might forget by the end of the two years tip number two make sure you read your textbooks read your textbooks and watch youtube videos for the things that you're not like you don't understand because there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff that you never think of like um one of the things that was harder the hardest for me was learning about x-ray interactions with matter and the way x-ray is made because i don't know why in my mind i was getting them all mixed up and then when I started watching YouTube videos on it, I was like, okay, now I understand. Like, of course, I mean, I did try to read the, the textbooks, but I just felt like listening and watching someone do it, like the diagrams and stuff, that really did help me out a lot. So make sure you read your textbooks and look over your um, PowerPoints or whatever the teacher gives you and look at YouTube videos. That is so crucial because it helps so much. I love YouTube. I love YouTube because of that. Number three, make sure you study and have a study group with you. I think definitely try to make study groups with people because you get to see other, like you get to see other ways people study and there's always going to be someone next to you who knows something that you don't and you know something that they don't and you guys can talk it out and help each other understand and I did that a couple of times and it definitely did help especially like when the person is smarter than you you definitely definitely should get study Number groups. Four, cut down your work hours please 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 i know some of you are like adults and you have kids or you have bills to pay and all that kind of stuff i know i know because i did it too but you definitely like i just don't recommend working full-time i don't recommend it you can do it you can do it you're gonna be exhausted by the end of the program working 40 hours a week and going to school you will be exhausted um for me we didn't have breaks in school we had if we did have a break it was two weeks and whenever we would have a break it would be let's see i had a break two week break at the end of april and i had a two week break for christmas and valent or valentine christmas and new year's so i did not get a summer break never got a summer break um this is my break now now that i'm done with school i'm just chilling okay this is my break now but like I said, just please, please, please don't work. I don't know how other schools work. Maybe you guys will get a break and stuff. Because I know our, not competitive school, but the school, the community college over here, their students got like 10 week breaks. So it's not going to be like that everywhere you go. Um, so I'm just saying, just please, 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 please be careful when it comes to working. Um, 
full-time because i know a lot of people who either just didn't work worked part-time or did work full-time and they're exhausted you can see the bags under their ass you know what i mean number five you need to take time out of your week of school to to practice positioning in the lab i don't know how your schools are going to be but um in my program the lab was open to us after you know like after school after class hours or whatever the lab was open to us and we would do groups um we would make groups and we would all go practicing together or like a couple people would practice together during lunchtime just something like that practice your positioning okay this is an extra tip you want to make flashcards for every position that you learn every single position that you learn make sure you make flashcards for it because then you'll have a stack by the time you're done with x-ray school and you're ready to take your um registry you want to be studying all of those flashcards you're going to have to work one day and you want to know positioning because what's going to happen when you get a job and you didn't know positioning because you didn't really have positioning on your registry exam so um that's just those are just my tips technically that was six or seven i don't know but i'm gonna just say five okay um those are the tips that i have and i hope you guys really use them and congratulations to all of you who you know have gotten into the program or who are thinking about getting into the program um you guys can definitely do it i believe in you um just keep these tips in mind bye